Hello, my quilting friends. My name is Leah Day, and welcome to episode 148 of the podcast. And I am sharing some time lapses today, guys, because I am out in the crafty cottage, taking it back, finally emptying this place of all of the junk. And it did get junky over the last two years. Kind of just created a storage space out here. Uh, our house flooded. We had to completely gut the basement. Well, almost completely. There were only two rooms that did not actually get completely torn apart. Uh, but for all intents and purposes, I needed more storage and I really couldn't use this space with all the junk that I moved out to it. Um, then after the renovation was over and everything put back, I was, <laughs> I was still so exhausted from doing all of that uh, and loving my new space that I really didn't get back out here. Uh, and then as soon as I was feeling just a little bit better and maybe gonna come out here and clean it out and get back to work, I got pregnant. <laughs> I am not complaining about anything. I'm just saying it was what it was and it took a long time to get back to it. But I'm finally here and I have set up my Hoop Frame Pro here. And I love it. I love this setup. I love how much space I have all the way around it. Uh, I, it's eight feet in this direction uh, from side to side. And I just feel like this is the perfect amount of space to be able to walk all the way around my hoop frame to have space. I don't have to squeeze. I have plenty of room back here to be able to quilt from the back and do some pantographs and stuff. Uh, obviously I haven't moved my home sewing machine. I'm gonna, I'm planning on using the Janome 8200. So I'm planning on bringing that back out here. And yeah, I'm about ready to start quilting out here again. I am super excited about that. Now this shot you probably will never see, or uh, if you do, I'm gonna put a quilt here to cover up my heater. That's a ceramic heater that keeps the place nice and toasty in the winter time. Uh, and then I might hang a quilt behind too. I do have lots of nail and screw holes that I need to patch still. Might very quickly give this place a fresh coat of paint. We'll see, it just depends on time and weather and all that good stuff. Now this is one side of the crafty cottage, but it is 12 feet long. So let's check out what I did with the home sewing machine set up in the other corner. So here it is. I have taken my affordable sewing table and I put it on the diagonal in a corner and I have taken the melanine that used to surround it on all sides and I've cut triangle shapes and that's going in that back corner and between the table and my little cabinets. So yeah, I still need to get that kind of mounted to the wall so it's no longer wobbly and I'm taking some spackle and going in all of these cracks around the table and then I'll probably, I probably will paint through here just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And then I might do some of that um, stripping. It, it's like melanine strips of tape almost. And I think I'll go around and do that as well, just to make sure that I have a nice slippery surface for machine quilting. I love this. I've never tried having my, sh my machine set up in a corner like this, where the table's at a diagonal but I actually think it's gonna be the best of both worlds where I have the walls to keep the quilt on the table. I can go vertical. I have some hooks and stuff that I can uh, link into and be able to raise the quilt up and take the weight off of it. But it's big enough that I think I could do a king in this area. I'm not promising that I'm gonna do a king in this area, but I think I could if I wanted to, right? Uh, so I'm really excited about this. I think it's gonna work out great. I love that I had space for the hoop frame on one side, the home sewing machine on the other. I'd love that I'm gonna be able to put a home sewing machine on the hoop frame. I could even take the same machine and go back and forth here and that would work great too. So it's been a process, it's been a journey. I love that I'm back out here again, guys. I know I've been getting some comments occasionally, some emails occasionally, why don't you do videos in the crappy cottage? And I don't want to say, well, it's a junky mess and I don't really feel like messing with it. So, you know, that was the truth of it though. It was just too, it was too overwhelming. Finally at a position where I could come back out here and tackle it one step at a time. And that's really what I did. Just move everything out, clear the space, set up the hoop frame. And then once I got the hoop frame set to, put together, it was kind of like, I didn't like it over on this side. It's just not enough space. So then it was 
take everything apart <laughs> and move the home sewing machine set up, cut the melanine boards apart, and then move the hoop frame in position. It was very much chicken and egg with everything moving around. And there wasn't a lot of space in here even to film it while I was uh, while I was taking everything apart. So some of these time lapses have some wacky angles. I hope that you enjoyed watching them though. They were fun to shoot and I am, again, so, so happy and pleased to be out here again, guys, and sharing more videos and tutorials with you. So that is pretty much it for this complete change up. One thing that I just got from Grace Company, I'm super excited about, is a free motion quilting starter kit. So I will be unboxing this, showing you all of the awesome goodies inside. And I think I'm gonna be quilting along with it as well in the next couple of weeks. So if you'd like to join in the fun, come and check out this free motion quilting starter kit. You can find it at leahday.com slash startfmq. So that's it for this video, short and sweet, but that's just the way I roll these days, guys. I hope that you have a wonderful quilting week you'd like to check out more podcast episodes, find more at leahday.com slash podcast. Till next time, let's go quilt.